Hey everyone, Ryan here with MNR Productions, and this is my review of LEGO Set 40516. Everyone is awesome. It's given 346 pieces and costs 35 bucks in the US. It's also a LEGO store and LEGO shop at home exclusive, so you won't find it at stores like Target and Walmart. It's also given ages 18 and up and appropriately adorns the all black box art with the white LEGO Griebling chin at the bottom. Looks rather nice. And the 18 plus demarcation is not Lego trying to make some subliminal message about who the set is for as far as like the sexuality of kids and all that. I've seen a lot of weird rhetoric on Twitter and it's it's Twitter so I guess I shouldn't take it uh, too deeply but 18 plus if you're not a huge Lego fan and into it is just basically a set that has very few to no play features and is made for adults in that manner. And it was also made with the LGBTQ community in mind quite obviously with all the colors there and it's also a really good set if you're if you're not a Lego fan or if you just don't know, uh, a lot of LEGO fans collect kind of on the side or as a niche collection thing is monochrome minifigures. So this is a great way in one fell swoop to get monochrome minifigures of 11 different colors. The back of the box has the same saying, everyone is awesome, kind of a play on words from the LEGO movie, everything is awesome. You can see all the minifigs there and then a couple different angles of the stand that you're gonna be able to display them on. Inside the manual, there's a short couple blurbs about the set here. You can pause and read if you would like and then it's on to the actual build of the set. This is the finished model and this is honestly probably the best example of a Lego set where you can literally say you get what you pay for. I mean it's pretty obvious on the box what you're getting and uh, it is exactly that. There's no play functionality, there's nothing to it that may surprise you. It's quite literally 11 minifigures of different colors on a row of Lego bricks and it's it's just that. And they do have unique hair pieces though which I think adds a nice bit of flair to each individual figure and you can certainly maybe see people uh, like Elvis there in the blue is kind of what I see and I see some of my friends who have specific hair pieces on their minifigs in some of these as well. And you may you may have the same experience or you may see people you know in your life and I kind of like that about this it's open to interpretation in that way and since the minifigs are all offset you can also get a good view of their sides and they do kind of mix a little bit so you'll see some of the brown bleeds into the red and the red bleeds into the orange in that sort of fashion as they go from one figure to the next and since some people are undoubtedly curious this is what the stand looks like completely void of minifigures so I suppose if you wanted to display it like this or add in your own minifigs you can always take them off and do so you can see the studs that they were standing on there and then flipping it upside down or on its back at least uh, you can see the bottom side which is where all the plates are that make up the base very simple build just a few big pieces and then the back of the stand looks like that just all nice rows of color and so that all these rows despite looking to be separate there's actually uh, beams of lego brick that combine everything and keep it together it's basically a little crossbar in there and that makes sure that all of these aren't swaying wildly on their own overall i would say this set is probably worth 35 dollars it is a bit odd as an unlicensed set with absolutely no prints and just straight bricks for it to cost so much money though usually a set like this you know it'd be $25. So to me, it feels like there's a bit of a premium for what it is, but also like it is 11 figures, but then again, they make these figure parts like crazy and in massive numbers. So it's not like it costs them anything more than like a normal Lego brick. I can't imagine, right? So that's just the way that I look at that. But overall, it's a really solid set that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy for all various reasons. But let me know what you guys think of it in the comments section below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed my review of the Lego Everyone is Awesome set.